Today, we're going to do some reading stories on Moby Max. The book is called The Largest Ant Colony Ever Discovered. Ants are known for forming large colonies. Some of these colonies contain billions of ants with many queens. This is a large wood ant colony on Brown Sea Island. Argentine ants reproduce in great numbers and have spread across the world. In fact, the largest ant colony ever discovered was made up of Argentine ants. Scientists have found relatives of Argentine ants on almost every continent. This Argentine ant hill is almost as tall as a young girl in the picture. A colony might have many different mounds or hills, but even though the ants are separated, they are still related the largest colony of ants ever found spanned almost 4,000 miles. The colony nests all across the Mediterranean coastline in Europe. Scientists studied these ants closely. They discovered that the ants were all related and belonged to one large colony. There are several large ant hills in this picture. Argentine super ant colonies cooperate together, cooperate together. Many an ant colonies stay small because the ants fight. But Argentine ants get along in their super colonies. They work together to thrive as a giant colony. Sometimes Argentine ants never need the food from other ants and will cooperate to to take over surrounding colonies. Worker ants spend their whole lives hunting for food to keep the colony strong. The ants appeared to work around the clock never sleeping. Small groups of worker ants and a queen will break away and form a new colony. This helps the colony grow into a super colony. Other colonies of these ants were found in California and Japan. Those colonies span hundreds of miles. All these colonies in different parts of the world seem to be related to one another. These ants are busy harvesting food for the colony, for their colony. Humans have also helped Argentine ants spread across the globe. The small ants can hide in clothing, plants, or other goods that we transport from continent to continent. When they enter a new environment, they quickly build new colonies and reproduce more ants. While their size is impressive, these super colonies can become pests to local animals and crops, like all living things. Ants must eat to survive. This means that they take food from other species. Some scientists 
are worried about the large ant colonies and call them an invasive, invasive species. These invasive ants often use up the resources in a an area which harms other species that live there. These scientists work to find solutions to the super ant colonies. This scientist is working to control an ant invest invest invest. Infestation. 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 Ants can help keep balance in nature. This app hid secrets a sweet liquid when it feeds on plants. Ant species collect the this waste and use it for energy. However, scientists know that getting rid of ants altogether won't be a good thing either. Ants help break down waste of other animals and put nutrients back in the soil. They also keep soil turning as they make new hills and dig new tunnels. Ants can also protect some crops and animals from diseases in balance. Ants can be very good for the environment. What was the largest ant colony ever discovered made up of? European ants, Argentina ants, Spanish ants, America or America ants. Yes, I got it right. How far did the largest colony of ants ever found span? Almost four hundred thousand miles. Almost two thousand miles. Almost eight thousand miles, or almost six thousand miles. Yeah, I got it right. Which is not a detail that supports the main idea. Ants are known for l- forming large colonies. Ants must eat to survive. Very large ant colonies become pests to local animals and crops. The largest colony. Of ants ever found spanned almost four thousand miles. Yay! I got it right. Why are ants good for the environment? They become pests to local animal and crops. They help break down waste and keep soil turning. They might harm the other species around them, or they take food from other species. Yay! I got it right. Read this sentence: Ants are known for forming large colonies. Some of these colonies contain billions of ants with many queens. What does the word "colony" mean in this sentence? A group of things that form something new. A group of states that make up a country. A group of people sailing to a new world. A group of Or a group of plants or animals in a particular place. Ah.、Uh. Yay! 
just by reading the title of this article, you know that this article is about the discovery of the largest ant colony, the discovery of the smallest ant colony, the uh, absence of ant colonies in Argen Argentina, or the discovery of the many different ant colonies. Yay, I got it right. What does this picture tell you about ant hills? Ant hills can be very tall. The ants are hiding from the children. Lots of children find ant hills. Or children like playing on with ant hills. Yay, I got it right. Which detail supports the idea what Argentina ants may have relatives all over the world? The ants appear to work round the clock, never sleeping. Some scientists are worried about the large ant colonies. Other colonies of these ants were felt, found in California and Japan. Or, ants can be very good for the environment. Ah. Yay! How does the author properly feel about invasive? Invasive super ant colonies. We should completely destroy all super ant colonies. Invasive super ant colonies are the best pests control. Invasive super ant colonies are not good for the environment. Or we need super large ant colonies to help grow crops. Ah. I got it right. So that was Moby Max reading stories. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye!